Welcome everybody, Saturday morning. We are at the farmer's market. The OCOC, it's on 10th and Portland. Uh, for all you out there that love to support local food, love to support the, the movement and all that stuff, you might find that in the winter, you seem to have a hard time finding food. Well, that's actually false. There's tons of food in the OCOC market every Saturday morning. For some reason people think it's cold if there's no food. That's a falsity. We're gonna show it to you and I wouldn't have opened a restaurant if I couldn't get food in the winter. Let's go. Is the rest in there? <laughs> yeah, your hair looks terrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so we've just walked in. You can see already, just walked in the market, I haven't looked around how much food is already here. So this is another reason to get down here, support these people. Yeah, yeah. I say we take every single one of them. Yeah. And the arugula. And the arugula. And the arugula. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll take these and here. I'm just gonna give you some of these. How many of these tomatoes do you think we have? Okay, so what you've seen, this is Susan, who you've seen her podcast, I've seen her farm. Russ is here picking up stuff from her. I'm gonna go to Crow's, set some stuff aside. This is uh, Crow's Farm, and then uh, we buy, buy from them pretty regularly. They just have real nice stuff, and their prices are awesome. Yeah, yeah. You moved inside. Yeah. We are at the Leatherwood Farmer's Booth, and last bit of cauliflower the showers so before the freeze, so we're taking all of it. And we're probably do like a broccoli and cauliflower cheddar gratin type thing, almost like a casserole, but fancy. And that's how we do. We take good old Oklahoma food, we'll make it fancy. Like my hair. This is the woman that makes the OCOKC Farmer's Market totally possible. Aww. Would you I like to say something, everybody? To get I think it's our vendors that make it totally possible. No one comes to see me. I, I do. Mean, well, yeah. Well, I, I see you when I'm here. But if there wasn't food here... I would not be here. There That's you fact. go. You gotta have the best Oklahoma-grown produce. And we are open year-round, folks, every Saturday. Uh, 10 to 1 right now at 400 North Portland. And if you want the best of whole foods and fresh foods and even organics, come here. We're here. Even in the winter, we have produce. So come on. We are at W Bar M and Cheap, and we'll with Wayne Jesco and Kevin who's not here today. Oh, here with Wayne. If you've had, come in and had the wild boar, these men trapped it with their own hands and sticks. I don't do that stuff. I'm fragile. So, if you want to also really have to support local food, take your wallet, take money out of it, and you give it to the farmer. Everybody wins. <laughs> Everybody remember Steve. <laughs> he was on a podcast with his mushroom. That's right. And he still does it. YouTube it. Home Gardens. Home Gardens. YouTube. Steve's the man. Uh -oh. John, what are we getting? You're getting Beauregard sweet potatoes. <laughs> I do declare. Beauregard. And tell us what's so special about the Beauregard. <laughs> well, they're a delicacy of the South, mind you. Everybody loves Beauregard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Uh, these are grown in uh, El Reno, Organic Gardens in El Reno, Oklahoma. Beauregard sweet potatoes. Yep. Beauregard. 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 Jingle Beauregard back from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, it is late November, almost December. My birthday month. And my girlfriend's birthday month. Love you, baby. <laughs> no, as you see, we're, we're done at the market. We're going back to the car. We're going to head back to the restaurant after a little bit of lunch and uh, go cook everything up for you. But as you can see, even in late November, there is tons and tons of local produce, local products, um, things you might have had at the restaurant from produce-wise to raw milk cheddar to honey to meat. You can come every Saturday morning and get it here. Literally every Saturday morning year round. So don't think just because it's cold that there's no food. So come down. You don't have to get up early at all, as you can see. And come on down, get some local produce, help these people out. Help your own health out. See you in the dining room. No one's helped me open the door. <laughs>